Today we are going to recalculate chapter 6, the 100 days part 2. In part 1, we had already read that the girl named Wanda Petrovsky, she had two classmates with the name Peggy and Mary, who used to make fun of her because of her unusual dress. So, in the second part now we are going to see that what had happened to that girl that she had stopped coming to school. A note was there for the teacher by her father. So what he wrote in the note, it was, my mother will not come to your school anymore. Jake also. Jake is the name of the younger brother of Wanda Petrovsky. He says, now we move away to Big City and no more honor or polite or no more ask why funny name. He says, children will not make fun of my uh, this girl because of her unusual name. We have shifted to some other city states. Plenty of funny names in the big city. He says we, we have shifted to a big city and there we have plenty of funny names which the other children might be having. So he says, says my daughter, she would not be pointed out by the others. And he signed himself as Chen Petros. It's the name of her father. So the teacher told them that she is advising the children that she did not think that anyone from the class might have made fun of the girl. If they have done, they have done so. And she says, you might be feeling sorry now that you have offended the feelings of the girl. She says, nobody should ever do it. Then after that, we come to know that even Wanda Petrovsky also, she had sent a note for the teacher later on. What did she write in the note? She had written, that all the hundred dresses which I used to talk with my friends, they were the dresses in the form of the paintings. And they were all different. And she says that out of those paintings, one or two paintings are specially for my friends, whom she is speaking now as friends, Peggy and Meg. She says specifically, I want to give those two to those, those two girls, those two paintings to those special girls. And what she might be thinking. Wanda Petrovsky, she must be thinking that these two girls thought they were making fun of me, but then also they enjoyed my company. And even Wanda Petrovsky also, she might not have felt it to the heart. And therefore she is giving these things to those two girls. So both of them, they felt, they might have felt ashamed. This Peggy and Mary, they might have felt ashamed that why did they tease Wanda Petrovsky in such a manner. So when they see those paintings, they realize that those were the same things which Wanda Petrovsky used to describe them that a dress, it was such and such dress. So actually what she was describing, she was describing her paintings. So this lesson, it teaches us that each and everyone in this world, he or she has something unique in one's personality. Now Peggy and Mary, they might be coming from good families, they might be good at studies. Wanda Petrovsky, she was from a poor family. She may not be good at studies also, but she was good at some other things. And what was that? This thing. She was brilliant as compared to any other student from her class. Even the teacher also, she praised her. If you see the letters there, you can read it from page 78. What Wanda wrote? She wrote, Dear Miss Lesson, how are you at room 13? It is the name of the number of the classroom. Please tell the girls, and the girls, Peggy and Mary. They can keep those hundred dresses because in my new house, I have a hundred new ones all lined up in my closet. I would like that girl Peggy to have the drawing of the green dress with the red ribbon, and her friend Mary to have the blue one. Then she says for Christmas, I miss that school and my new teacher does not equalize with you. Merry Christmas to you and everybody. Now just see, the behavior uh, which uh, the other two girls, Peggy and Mary, they did with Wanda Petrovsky, we had never expected that she would be using such kind words for those two girls as well as the classroom also, school also. But never in this small letter we are able to see any words of victory. Rather, she has gifted two paintings to those two girls who are specially making fun of and she also adds up that she misses her school on this Christmas Eve. And she says, my new teacher in this school, in the present school, she says, she is not equal to you. It means the other teacher was better than the present. She misses that water at her school.
So, what we come to know that each and every person he has own qualities, and we should never make fun of the other person because of the economic status, social status, whatever is the case. So, being children, Peggy and Maddie, they might have did that, but later on in the story, they realize their mistake that they did it wrongly by making did it wrong by making fun of Nora Petrosky. And she was the one who had gifted those two paintings to these two girls, which proves that she never had any ill feeling about these two girls. Rather, these two girls were making fun of them. Even they also, they did not have any ill feeling. But because just for the fun sake, they were the small girls, they did not understand the seriousness of the matter, they were making fun of the girl. And Wanda also, she never reacted back. That might be the reason that they kept on making fun of the girl. So that's all about this, the 100 is part 2. Any queries by you, we are going to pick up this stuff.